Good evening YouTube. Today is the 30th of November 2014. I think it's 30th? 29th. Anyway, Saturday morning and it's a beautiful day in Vancouver. It has snowed. We've had the first snow you can see out there. So, and my phalaenopsis with the drop in temperature at night has now spiked. You remember this one? This is the one that has a large white uh, fell, which was blooming unstaked last year. So, oh dear, there's something going on outside. Uh, anyway, so here is the spike. As you can see, you know how to tell a spike from a root, and that it has a mitten-like point at the top. So, let me see if I can get my finger there. Ooh, over here. Yeah, see this? There's a little constriction here, just under the neck, like a neck. And then, of course, the point, which hasn't quite bifurcated into a mitten thing. But see the placement. And see the direction it is taking. So, it'll take, it'll follow the leaf, or it'll go away from the at the plant whereas the root will tend to seek the moisture go downwards so this is my phalaenopsis white phalaenopsis spike and uh, I've also got another spike on a phalaenopsis I got last year and that is the pale pink one and I'm really happy to see that so I'll show you that in a minute okay so here is the other fell that I have and I was watering it today and of course when you water things you notice things so there it is there's a spike you can see it is just there tiny little thing can you see it maybe from a distance yeah there there it is so that is the spike coming out of this phalaenopsis and it's going to be a very pale pink one and I'm looking forward to it because I just really enjoyed the the pallor, the very delicate pink flower of it. So I uh, have struggled keeping this alive. Uh, this is not done so well. Look at the roots there, not so good. But it has managed to live. And I had lightened up on the moss and, you know, watered regularly. And so now we are rewarded with a spike. Maybe you can see it better there. I think that's a better look. Okay, so, uh, you know, when the temperature drops, like there, you can see the snow. The temperature is dropping now regularly to about 16 degrees at night or 15 inside the house. And of course, since it's near the window, it kind of becomes quite cold. And the, it is the drop in the temperature or the difference in the day and night temperature that will provoke a spike. So the, the, the temperature is important. And of course, plenty of light, not direct sunlight, but lots of light. But I do get direct sunlight here. This is an east-facing window, and I still get it. So, um, and there we are. So it is a cyclical thing. It is to do with the uh, length of daylight and the night temperatures. And we get a spike uh, always at the end of um, fall or early winter. Uh, so we will look forward to full bloom sometime in February or March. Okay, thanks for watching.